Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to pray. We are outside of Dr. Lorenzo Calvino's office. We got his key card from out in space. And we're just... Oh, dear. There's a phantom. Why is the phantom here? Okay. Um, Can I throw something at him? Will that work? I mean, I could try that. I don't see him. I mean, it would be great if I could... Why? It'd be great if I could run him through this electricity, but... Wait a minute. I know a back way. Hang on. Hold the phone. Let's just walk through the ventilator shaft. Ventilator shaft. Ventilator shaft. Why is the music suddenly getting all creepy? What did I do in this room? So the turret's dead. I don't have the means to repair it just yet. Otherwise, I would totally have it come through here. I wonder if I can get him to come through the electricity. Here we go. All right, electricity's not hitting me yet. There he is. I see him over there just past all the boxes. So let's see. What about... I wonder if that... Oh, it says it's useful for distracting enemies. Let's try that. Alert him. Okay. Silence pistol. How much ammo do I got? I got 11 shots. Let's see if I can't get him to come this way. Well, hi. Yeah, come at me. Bet you can't get me. Come on. Come on. I see you. You know you want it. Yes! Lightning done. That did my victory slide there. All right, so everything that hurts me also hurts them. Good to know. Let's go for the wrench. Get this all set up. Okay. So, actually, let's move around. I want to take care of his body there, but before we do, I want to make sure I don't die myself. There we go. Did his body completely disintegrate? Here we go. Oh, nice. Nice! There's so many good things in there! Yeah, okay, get away. I'm not gonna die again. Alright. Actually, I have yet to die, knock on wood. Let's quick save. <laughs> Alright. Let's get into this. Alright, lab. I swear, they're just mastering the jump scares just by making the ship fall apart around me. So I do have a, a mod that allows me to pick things up quicker now, which has been very nice. I haven't had to spend like five seconds at each time doing it. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Okay. So what do I got in here? Crate. Oh, I thought there would be a point of being in here. That's weird. Oh. There was, there was, the med kit. When I picked up the crate, it came flying at me. Got it. Good, I always like med kits. Sneaky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's something questionable. Is it outside? Is it in here with me? What is, what is that? Okay, so next time I go on a space walk, I might have to deal with that thing, which sounds terrifying. Okay, use plastic tubing. I have no idea what that could possibly be. Alright, but I think I'm good for now. I'm still inside. Whiteboard. I feel like every time I see these white boards, there's going to be some code or something in it. Power on. Oh, so the power's off right now. Got it. Let me just, before I do anything else, let's just take a brief look around the room. Frayed wire. Ah. 
glue canister. Hmm. Come with me. Ooh, uh, ooh. Ducking? Duck. There we go. Alright. Alright. See, I, you always want to make sure that you've double-checked the area before you push any important buttons, because you never can be sure what's going to jump out and what you're going to need to deal with. Alright. There's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the, referen the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is supplied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output to the closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers are from the past. Problem with these is I'm pretty sure I read that before, but it doesn't tell me that I've read it before. It'd be really nice if it was a little, like, doop, you already got in it. You don't need to read this again like a crazy person. Just repeating the past. Of course you can, old sport. Alright. Custom travel mug. Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put a good word in for doc to Dr. Thorstein for your assistance. Now, Dr. Thorstein, I'm pretty sure that was the guy that got zapped in front of me. Oh, sure. <laughs> Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so when it reads 170 grams, it sends off a signal. Please let me know when it's ready. Okay, I'll get right on that. So, interesting. What is... Hmm. So I need a special mug to launch something or whatever? I've had a look at the specs you sent me. I see a few problems. I didn't realize you'd offloaded so much of the processing and storage. What if somebody took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down? Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details. I have a few suggestions if you're amenable. Hmm. So I need to figure out where the main server is and take a wrench to it, apparently. Alright, let's turn the power on. Because I very well could have to deal with this floaty thing in space. Power on. Oh, right. Okay. Prototype looking glass console. Video playback. Select video to send to looking glass display. Let's try test phase one. Could not connect to host. Okay. Test phase two. Could not connect to host. Verify and restore server connectivity. Cool. Wait a minute. Did this say... Uh, it doesn't have anything specific in there. Unless I just go through all of them. It says that they're online. Storing connection. Jeez. Nice work, Morgan. The looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. So January is like an AI or something that's part of me. It's like the brain scanning thing. This is like my Cortana. Alright. Diagnose network servers. Just make sure we're good. Diagnose LG screens. Alright, we're all set. Video playback. Let's see what these are. It's running? Weird. Light filled capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? It literally no. looks like I'm oh, in the room. Yesterday we had two. Now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. Interesting. Okay, next one. Ooh. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. No, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh... I suppose it's... it's late after all. Uh, go, go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? 
Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later, then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. <laughs> Why do I feel like there's some secret hidden here? Oh, this is his travel mug. Aha, uh -huh, there's the secret. So funny, if you're looking just from this side, you wouldn't be able to see it. So where's the mug is the question. It's not that mug, it's like a literally a travel mug with a... a oh! I carry this. I'm gonna drop that. Um, let's see here. Is it up here? Like, is it too much to ask for it to be in this room? I guess it's too much for to ask for it to be in this room. Okay. I mean, I don't have it in my inventory at all, do I? Let's see. I don't see a travel mug. I'm pretty sure for, some, for something like that, it wouldn't let me get rid of it, you know? Hmm. behind here oh weird oh I broke it I sorry um, yeah not around here it's not okay well maybe I'll run into it later so this is dr. Galvino no dr. Galvino is the let me just see if I can find him it's running? Lorenzo Calvino. Light field capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. I don't oh, think I found yeah, Lorenzo Calvino. Two. Now I can't find one. But now I can We've use the security thing to find him. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. Let's write him down so we don't forget. Calvino. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> there it is. It was right there all along. Perfect. Neuromods and Calvino's cabin. That would have sucked if I left this room. Okay, so Calvino's cabin. Let's take a look here. Map. We're in his workshop. But that's the thing, though, is that his cabin is probably in, like, a completely different section of the space station, like where... Like, do they have, like, a living quarters area? There's, There should. Crew quarters. Let's see. So the airlock to it is, is locked through the Arbitorium. Ar yeah, or or Bortium? Or Betium. I don't know how to pronounce that. But the hardware labs are open. The other ones are locked. So once we get these unlocked, we can just fly through space to get to them all. So I'm going to guess that his uh, his cr quarters are up here in the crew quarters area. But as of right now, we've got some neuromods to unlock. And I think we're going to go with repair two. Yes. Um, and I think that's going to help us with the other guy that's just chilling upstairs here, which I definitely feel like we need to take out. 
before we leave this place. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really want to leave. Let's just make sure I'm not going to get attacked by anything by coming out here. Because as we know, some of these areas do repopulate. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to take care of this guy upstairs before I move on. Let's see, is that robot still up here? Floating around? I mean, that would be real nice. Um, oh, I can dispense an operator. Okay, maybe I'll come back after my fight and we'll see. Exterior breach. Right, this is where I was. Interesting. So I could fix that thing and be able to get in and out from this way. Um, ooh, look at this. Spare parts. Oof. Let me go and take another look down here. Now that I've been able to take a look here. Um, I don't think... Yeah, I have... There's a passcode that I need for this. I don't think I've gotten this one yet. No, nothing's showing up. I feel like all the passcodes I've got have been for, like, doors. So we're just going to leave those guys alone. And we're going to go up and deal with our awful bad guy up here. But I'm hoping that I can fix this turret and use it to my advantage. Let's see here. Okay, this one. Let's see. Repair, spare parts. I wonder what the deal is with hacking. Like, why Why would hacking... Like, is are there going to be... There might be bad turrets that I'm going to have to deal with. So I need three spare parts. Let's repair this guy. Heck yes. Alright. If I remember correctly. Hey, we didn't go on this side. Last time we were on the other side. So let's go through here first. Good, a weapon upgrade kit, another glue cannon. Uh, we found Nikki Tanner. What is that on top? Doesn't really say. Let's just drink these up while we're at it. Cooking with cauliflower. Renowned for its versatility and lush aroma, cauliflower can be substituted in many traditional recipes to boost their nutrient payload without compromising on flavor. Faux mashed potatoes, pizza crust, cauliflower rice, pellets, and more. If you're looking to maximize the health benefits of this dimpled delicacy, that is the last, the first and last time I've ever heard of cauliflower called a dimpled delicacy, then steaming is your best bet. Go for the purple variety if you really want to add that blast of color to your plate. Alright. Um, I don't think... Okay, sparkling wine's good. Ugh. Oh, that's what was being dealt with. Um, yeah, I definitely want to bring this guy over here. Full health. Oh. Yeah, I sure hope you can help me, turret. I've already dealt with this guy. Lunch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Really? I have the sense he resented you. <laughs> Unfortunate. 
Okay, turrets worth the the time to learn how to make them or repair them. Jorgen Thorstein's lab. So that's the one that I saw get like th throat stabbed right in front of me at the very beginning of the game. So he has turned into ugh, whatever the heck this is. Alright. Corroded coil, space elevator. Yeah, we already know about that one. Baseball glove. My new reployer. Dr. Thorstein, I just wanted to write you and personally thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been waiting on waiting lists to get one of these, and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. So, however, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. Dio Igwe. That's one of the guys that is still alive and we need to help. Part requisition. Wanted to clear a Morgan request. Again, Morgan was down in hardware today. I'm standing there as if not sure where to go. Oh, Morgan, so that would be me, was standing on hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go, and when I offered to help, Morgan asked for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean, no offense, but Morgan's requisitioned enough to repair any operator on the station five times over now, and we have other operators that need maintenance. Pretty sure that's my name. I don't know. Am I... <laughs> yeah, Morgan Yu, right there. Looking glass. Calibrating testing. So the glue cannon is the only one that was completed. Dubbed the Reyes Field Theory, the discovery proved to be the jumping off point for a string of scientific miracles Transar began churning out less than a year later. Take, for example, the new ubiquitous operators, which take advantage of a localized levitation effect derived from the theory's gravitational outworkings. Indeed, from the matter stripping field inter interactions inside the bowels of recyclers to the artificial gravity that keeps boots firmly planted on the Italian marble of the Talos One lobby, the impact of Dr. Reyes' theory is undeniable. Their logic is undeniable. Alright. So let's see here. Do I know? I don't know. Dr. Thorsten's safe. Hmm. I have access to their room now, but I don't know their safe number. Like, I wonder if it's just, like, around here and I'm just missing it. Because I feel like in Dishonored, it's always very... Holy crap. I don't like this, not one little bit. Oh, okay. I took out my turret. Oh, gosh. There we go. One bullet left. After all that work, well, I think I'm going to move on to the, back to my room again, so hopefully I won't have to deal with that. So, good to know, his, his what do you call it, physical attack, his punch or whatever, is actually less harmful than that weird ray thing that he does. Um, note. Oh. Thorsten's safe code clue. If you forget the code, ESXE. So, yeah, this is right up my alley for Dishonored stuff. So, EX. Let's see here. Right? Did I read that right? I didn't say it. EXXE or SE. I thought I read that right. Or is ESXE? Let's see. Neuromod status data. Key codes, password. I need notes. There we go. E S X E, not E X. Got it. E S X E. All right. If I knew my table of elements here, I'd be much better off. 
But as it is, I'm just looking up. Oh, there's XE for big, but it's 54. But XE is the second one, so I need ES. ES, ES, ES. Where are you? down here oh there it is so it's 9954 9954 there we go skeletal repair kit fabrication plan so I'm guessing if I break any bones I'll be good to go all right let's get out of here before another one of those things show up let's go through here Oh, there's a mimic here somewhere. Is it downstairs? Must be down there. Okay, this is where I started. Alright. I'm going to say the mimic is probably right beneath me here. Know if they actually become the crates. Okay, now I'm feeling like I'm going a little crazy because I know I saw the mimic health bar pop up. Hmm. I think we're just going to go ahead and move on with our lives might have just like ducked into a vent or something all right so let's see we're back here Maybe I can help you. I've already destroyed all these things Oof. didn't didn't fully take them out so actually with these ones medical operator or Spare parts, I need the dismantle thing to, to do that. Wait, medical operator. Is that one still around? Can it help me? It's probably upstairs, huh? Oh, there you are. Hey. Perfect. All right. So before we leave this area, just do a general overview I think we pretty much got everything. We still need to figure out what, how to get into the one in the ballistics lab, the, um, what do you call it, a safe. But other than that, oh, that's right. We want to check to see if we can find out if any of the bodies or any of the people. Oh, gosh, it's just one of those things. Okay. Um, I think we're doing okay. I feel like Psychotronics is possibly one of our next ways to go. Who was I looking at? Cargo Bay? I was looking at Life Support, I think. Bernard Griffith. So let's... I want to look at... I want to find Deo Igwe, because I feel like I keep seeing his name pop up. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the main room. Yes, I am sure. <laughs>